What's going on everyone? I hope everybody is doing well and after a long all-star break we are back. Boston Celtics basketball has officially returned and what do you know some things just never change. They return tonight and deliver a decent road win against the Chicago Bulls. The final score being 129 to 112. Tonight's win extends this win streak to seven games but on top of that it marks seven straight road wins. They haven't lost on the road since that Milwaukee game which is about a month and a half ago. This team has just been on a different level especially these last 20 or so games and that's exactly why they have the league's best record at 44 and 12. But anyways let's get into this game we will start with D White. It seemed like he made a conscious effort to come out tonight after all-star break and remind everyone why he should have been an all-star. He was the best player on the floor for most of tonight especially in that first quarter. In those first 12 minutes alone he had 12 points, 3 blocks and a steal and for the night he finished with 28 points, 5 assists, 3 blocks blocks and two steals. And those blocks man just a thing of beauty. Personally it's my favorite part of Derek's game and something I consistently expect from him on a night to night basis but tonight he even surprised me. It's one thing when White gets a block on a guard or a wing but most of his blocks on a big come from his help side defense but tonight he straight up stood Nikola Vucevic up who is about a head taller than him listed at 6'10". Stood him up on a post up and blocked his shot. I don't know how many guards in the NBA can actually do that but I know the list is very very small. But what I also love about White's season is his improved ability to get it done on every single level on the offensive side of the ball. And that's exactly what he showcased tonight. Getting to the rim, the floaters, mid-range, the three ball, catch and shoot off the dribble. Getting to the line, he does it all. He has truly evolved into an insanely dynamic scorer and you couple that with his all defensive ability, there's no doubt he is an all-star caliber player in this league. The next person who we are going to show love to might surprise you because he had a quiet night offensively only only took five shots but that's exactly why he deserves the praise and that guy is drew holiday tonight was a good representation or microcosm of his entire season giant sacrifice on the offensive end but he makes the most of the shots he does get only five shots but totals nine points what i love about him in his game is he truly doesn't care about the sacrifice he is making he just embraces his role and you see it every single possession as a player it's not easy to be excluded on offense while also maintaining a high level of defensive effort but for Drew no matter the amount of shots or usage his effort never wavers on the defensive end and on the offensive side of the ball when he does get his opportunity he stays ready his confidence in his jumper is high and that's exactly why he is the league's best corner three-point shooter at 62 percent Holiday is in the process of mastering his role he has just been the ultimate team guy Swiss army knife and much needed championship experience veteran that this team needed moving on to the rest of the game everyone chipped in pretty evenly Tatum, Brown, and White all over 20 points. KP and Drew did what they needed to do. And it's funny because before the game, Kobe White was asked about the Celtics and his exact quote was, they got a shit ton of good players. And tonight's box score represents that. And even if you break this game down quarter by quarter, it shows you how lethal the Celtics are offensively and how anybody can give it to you. First quarter, Derek had 12 points. Second quarter, Jalen Brown had 14. And third quarter, JT had 15 points. And this is on a night where KP didn't have a going like usual. So it's truly pick your poison with this squad. Some disappointing aspects of tonight, Tillman was available to play and he didn't see the floor until garbage time. It's disappointing because I thought tonight was the perfect game to play Tillman. KP wasn't amazing. He was having a rough time with Vucevic and the physical body of Drummond and your other big in Horford wasn't good either. It looked like he needed some WD-40 to clean off the rust after the all-star break. And really the main reason you're going up against Chicago if Joe isn't willing to play Tillman in a February game against Chicago, I think it's fair to assume he won't be part of the regular rotation or playoff rotation. Most likely he's just part of that stay ready crew, but who knows, maybe they're just slowly integrating him. It's something to keep an eye on going forward. Also some quick love to Luke Cornett. I think this has been his best season when it comes to impacting the game with his physicality and on top of that his hands have been great. He has been phenomenal on the roll this year catching lobs and even those two back to back put back dunks tonight. He has done everything you need as a third string center. Before I get out of here I want to talk about the stretch coming up. It's, it's kind of tough. They have New York, Dallas, Golden State, Cleveland, Denver, Phoenix but 
Besides that, the schedule is ridiculously weak. There will be a lot of games like the one we saw tonight, so 60 plus wins is very much in the cards, and I want to say, don't take it for granted. I know this team is boom or bust, and most of us, including myself, are on the edge waiting for the playoffs. I gotta take this advice too, but do your best to appreciate all these regular season games, even if it's against the lesser teams. They are inferior, of course, but the Celtics make it look easy because of how talented they are, and we know talent. Boston has had some talented teams in recent history, but teams this good, this talented don't come around often, so let's just enjoy the ride because it does feel like this season will be something special to look back on. But anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap it up right there. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please like, comment, subscribe. It's the best and easiest way to support. I'm here after every single Celtics game, all 82 plus the playoffs. I'm not going anywhere. I will talk to you guys Saturday, February 24th against the New York Knicks. Peace.